Welcome to Lexus of Madison. My name is Sam Lancaster, Lexus Vehicle Delivery Specialist. Today I'm going to take a moment and go over the top 10 functions of our navigation system. I'm sitting in a 2013 RX 350. This video could work for a 2013 RX 450H as well as the 2014 RX models. I'm currently looking at the remote for the navigation system. This toggle can move left, right, forward and back, and this main uh, button here is the enter button as well. We have a menu button, a toggle up and down button, as well as a map mode button. Go to the word menu you'll see that there are seven different icons. In this case, I'd like to go to destination, which is the upper left. The rectangle right here shows destination assist. This is a one year complimentary gift from Lexus. If you don't know an address, and you were to say cheeseburger in paradise Middleton Wisconsin the live operator would type in that name that city and you'd be able to get to that destination the best part is you can do this while you're driving so this is a tool that really aids in the safety of using the navigation system number two we have after that year if you choose not to get the destination resubscribed you can always go over to the talk switch which is right here and a new screen After will come the beep, up say a shortcut menu command say help at any time for additional instructions enter an address enter an address say the state name Wisconsin Wisconsin. Searching Wisconsin. Say only the city name or say change state. Sun Prairie. Town of Sun Prairie. If that's correct, say the street name. If not, say number one. Number one. Number one. If that's correct, say the street name. As you can see, you can go through all the voice prompts on the steering wheel, and you can do that also while you're driving. One of the other nice things that we have on our navigation system, I'm going to come down here and hit map. We have something called show on map, and you can see the different points of interest. You can choose gas station, dining, groceries, hotels, and those icons are going to display and you'll see them right up in this general area. If you feel that you want to go to a certain area, say Hardee's or the pizza place or the gas station, you click on the gas station icon and it says PDQ. I can click for the information I can mark it by saving it in my address book or I can hit enter. And now it's calculated the route to PDQ gas station so that I can simply hit OK. Please proceed to the highlighted route, then the route guidance will start. Since I don't want to go to PDQ right now, I'm going to hit the word route, delete, and yes, I want to delete the destination. Now there's no blue line running to PDQ. Also, by using the talk switch, I can say different voice commands. After the beep, say a shortcut menu command. Say help at any time for additional instructions. Find nearby Italian restaurants. Find nearby Italian restaurants. 
Say a number from the list. Two. Number two. To start guidance, say, start guidance. To see a map of the destination, say, show map. Otherwise, say, go back. Start guidance. Start guidance. Again, I can choose three different routes. If I choose to go the preferred route, the alternate route, which is in purple, or the short route, which is in green. Edit the route, delete it out, and now we do not have a blue line on our map going to that restaurant. Another cool feature that we have is mark. Now I have a blue flag by my vehicle. This little circle with a triangle is my vehicle and I just put a blue flag in front of it. I go to menu, destination, go to the big blue flag and there's airport road Middleton, Wisconsin, and that is where our vehicle sits, as well as Lexus of Madison, which is located on Airport Road in Middleton, Wisconsin. Now, the point of interest is going to be where it looks like a little bank photo, or a little image. I'm going to select the state of Wisconsin by going over to the Rolodex, going to Wisconsin, now you can search by four different areas. You can do it by name, category, phone number, obviously by state, and there's one that you can do by your laptop computer or home computer. It's called eDestination. That right there, if you were to plan a trip and you had multiple routes that you'd like to go, you could put in all the routes. Say, for example, if I were to travel from Madison, Dubuque, Quad Cities, Iowa City, Cedar Rapids, back up to Dubuque, and then back to Madison. You could put in all of the destinations, and in that specific order, the car would follow that specific route. So that's something that you'd have to sign up online and again that is a really nice feature now destination assist which is found under destination this one right here you can also give the person multiple destinations so if I wanted to go to uh, Cheesecake Factory in Milwaukee then I wanted to go to the Art Institute and then maybe I wanted to go to a furniture store and then back to Madison. You give the person those three areas that you want to go, they put them into the system and off you drive to the first destination. Our system's pretty easy to use and that is one of the biggest advantages of having this destination assist. You can do it while you're driving and the passenger can also do gain access to this system while the driver is tending to the road. Now there is a button down here called Go Home. Now in this case, um, this home has been programmed in and this is a vehicle that came from another state. So in this instance, if I were to drive all the way back down to Omaha, um, that's where the home was put in for the demonstration. In this case, I'm going to hit delete and yes. Now, when you put the home in, you're able to then go to the steering wheel, hit the click, hit the talk button. After the beep, say a shortcut menu command. Go home. Go home. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. And then it takes us back to the Omaha address. So realistically, this system is a lot about using your voice 
and not so much about typing. Now, if you still want to use the typing method to get to an address, we still have that available. We would go down to Menu, Destination, Address, type in the city, and this is something you have to do while the vehicle is stopped. You cannot do this as you're driving down the road. Then you put in the street name, and then you'd go in and put in the numbers. So if I were to hit, um, for example, Wisconsin Avenue, comes up after the third letter, and then I could put in a number 258 and then hit OK, and the navigation program would take me to that address. This is just an example of how to use the system. I'm going to edit out, delete, so now I'm not going to Wisconsin Avenue. It's a pretty easy system to use. As a recap, there's only one other thing I want to go over and that is the destination assist is so very important to use and I just wanted to show you one more time how to get there menu menu brings up these seven icons destination and it always seems to land on destination assist which is right here pretty much in the middle of the screen we have a few other areas. Now, if you were to use address, point of interest, destination assist, you'll find your addresses or your previous destinations in this area. Address book will be wherever the blue flags are on the map. Emergencies if you needed to find a police station, a fire station, hospitals, or dealers. You can just click on those tabs. Intersection and freeway. Sometimes when we travel we know the city. Like if I'm going to uh, come back from Milwaukee, I know my way around Madison, but I might put in the intersection of uh, I-9094, when I get to that intersection, I do not hear the navigation voice any longer. Map. If I wanted to zoom out by using the minus, and I wanted to go more towards, let's say, Stoughton, I put my little target somewhere around Stoughton and I hit go to. By hitting go to it's calculating a route so I end up somewhere near Stoughton. It's a quick way of finding a destination without actually knowing a street name. I'm going to edit the route, hit delete, and yes I like to delete the destination. Now, the last thing I want to remind you, we do have these little icons up on our screen. If you choose that you do not want to have those, go to Show on Map, I clicked on where those little icons were, and I turned it off. One other thing that we can do on the map is different looks. Here we have half map, half audio. Go back to map mode. Half map, half fuel. A dual map. So on this dual map, you'll have more of the city view over here and more turn by turn instructions over here. And we can always go to the compass. This concludes 
this video. If you have any questions, please email me or call me. My information's in the notes. My name is Sam Lancaster, Vehicle Delivery Specialist at Lexus of Madison in Middleton, Wisconsin.